Marvel, how's it going? Where's my parts? Hey, Mark, parts are complete. It's done. How'd it go? It went perfect. Everything was under control, like you said. Push the green button, cycle start, and it showed me a picture of how to load the part in the vise. I did that, tighten it up, push the button again, and it cut the first stop. Then a video showed up of how to flip that part. Dude, that was incredible. <laughs> how, how about those threads, did you check them? You didn't tell me to check the threads, but the picture on the control said check the threads at the end, and I did. Everything went to QC, everything is perfect. But let me ask you, how did you get those pictures on the control? Well, that's actually what today's Haas Tip of the Day is all about. We're gonna show you how to make use of our new M130 media function to display pictures, videos, and even PDFs right on your control for your operators and setup guys to make use of. If you know how to load a program into memory, then you pretty much know how to load a media file onto your control as well. I've got all my files in a folder on my USB. So all I've got to do is load this onto the machine and copy them into memory. There's a file called uh, bracket g54.jpg. That's my setup sheet. I'm going to copy this file into memory. Just F2 and follow the instructions. Now there are a couple different ways to, to make use of these media files on the control. The first of which is just to highlight that media file and press select program. There's my file. Okay, now if we wanted to insert that file into our program, that's easy as well. From the editor, all we have to do is press F1 and then navigate to where it says insert media file and press enter. We're going to go through our, our tree, our navigation tree here, highlight the file that we want to display, and follow the on-screen instructions. I'm going to press insert to insert this file path into my program. And there it is, M130, and then in parentheses it says user data, my media, bracket g54.jpg. It actually wrote the entire file path in there for me automatically. If we run this program, it's going to display that picture just like it had previously. So copying our media files from our USB sticks onto the control, that's easy. And getting those media files to, to be displayed from within our program is really simple as well. But if you're like me, I'm using my phone a lot to uh, take pictures of my setup, um, add some annotations, and then uh, display that information for my operator. In fact, the pictures that we saw on the control uh, were made and edited on my iPhone. Getting the pictures off of your iPhone directly and directly onto the control might not be so simple. We don't have iTunes loaded up on the control for a bunch of different reasons. So what I use is a little uh, fancy USB stick made by Hootoo, H-O-O-T-O-O, -O -O, and there's a million different brands out there. I'm just gonna show you the one that I use. This USB stick has a, a USB on one end and a little uh, you know, lightning cable on the other so I can plug it right into my phone. It has a little app that allows me to transfer files from my phone onto this little USB stick. Then I take the USB stick, plug it right into the control and transfer my files. Really simple. Now, while we're talking about setup sheets and setup information, I'm just gonna mention uh, the software that I use to create a lot of these pictures. And, and if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to comment. Let us know what software you're using and how you make setup sheets. If I'm making a, a setup picture on my iPhone or even my, my Galaxy phones, I use a little app called My Measure, and you can look it up on the App Store or on Google Play. Uh, that allows me to take pictures and then add annotations, dimensions, right on my phone. And again, with these fancy USB adapters, you can take those pictures right from your phone to the control. Well, I know that you're going to find this M130 function useful. Uh, you might be asking, do you have it? If you've got a Haas mill with a next generation control with software version .1030 or above, then you already have this feature. It's not a paid option. Um, every Haas mill is coming with it standard. I think that software came out uh, about November of 2016. Well, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, comment. Let us know how you're making your setup sheets 
And um, if you've got some cool tricks on making setup sheets or annotating things like this, or just some beautiful setup sheets that you'd like to share with us, send those to us at TOD at HaasCNC.com. That's TOD, like tip of the day, TOD at HaasCNC.com. We'd like to see what you guys are doing for setup sheets. That's it. And thanks for watching this Haas Tip of the Day.